Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this 20 minute Pilates mat workout, simulating the Pilates reformer. Optional props are a medium stretch band as well as a pair of two pound hand weights. Lie supine with the band around your heels, legs squeezed together parallel. Holding the ends of the band in your hands, keep your elbows close to or on the mat. Spine is long and straight, abdominals draw in. Inhale to lengthen the legs out over the mat, pushing through the strap, and exhale, resist to return. Next, place the band over the arches of the feet. Again, inhale to lengthen the legs and exhale to bend, keeping the abs deflated as your legs grow long. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air. Now the band goes over your toes, legs still parallel Next, keep your legs straight and point and flex the ankles, pressing the toes into the band and releasing with control. Change to a Pilates V position. The band is still around the toes, but the toes are apart, heels together. Inhale as you lengthen the legs and exhale as you return. Keep those abs drawn in tightly to protect your spine. For the last position, place the band around your heels, legs are wide apart, as wide as your hips. Keep the feet flexed and press the legs to straight and return. Try to prevent the legs from wobbling in and out and keep them the same distance apart when you straighten and bend.
Remove the band from your feet and fold it in half. Place it behind your legs, holding on with your hands. The hundred. Inhale to prepare, then exhale up into your best hundreds position. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Maintain the arms and legs long and strong as you beat those arms up and down at a rapid pace. Head stays curled up, looking towards your abs. Last one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and rest down. Set your band off to the side out of your way. Next is coordination. Bend the knees into the chest, elbows bent and on the mat, fingertips pointing to the ceiling. Inhale as you lengthen the arms and legs, lifting your head and chest off the mat. Open and close the legs one time, then bend your knees and bend your elbows, keeping your head curled up. Kick out, open, close, bend the knees, bend the arms. Inhale out, open, close, exhale, bend, in. Lengthen out, open, close, bend, in. But nothing makes sense anymore. Drop those knees side to side for a quick stretch. Come up to a seated position and grab your hand weights for rowing one. Sit tall with your legs straight out in front of you and squeeze together. Arms up and hug the tree, holding the two pound weights. Contract your deep low abdominals as you curl part way back. Bend the elbows, bringing the fists to your chest, then open your arms into a V. Turn the palms to face back, dive forward, circle the arms behind you and up and overhead to the front and then curl up the spine. Contract those deep low abs, curl back again, fist to chest, then open into V, flip the palms to face back and dive your head toward your knees. Circle the arms up and over like a butterfly stroke until they meet your legs and then stack the spine. One more time. Anymore. Rowing two. Sit tall with the arms bent at a 90 degree angle in front of you. With a tall lifted spine, hinge back, reach the arms up overhead, dive forward, and then drag your arms down by your sides behind you and butterfly stroke the arms around to your feet. Stack your spine. Arms at 90 degrees, hinge back. Inhale up and dive forward. Circle the arms down, around, and back, up and over to the feet, and stack the spine. One more repetition. Cause nothing makes sense, no nothing makes sense anymore. Teach me how to fall, fall into the air. Rowing three, sitting tall with the arms bent, hands near the chest. Inhale, lengthen your arms out in front of you. Turn the palms away and touch the thumbs down to the mat. Lift the arms straight up and then circle them around. Bend your elbows to start again. Reach out, touch the thumbs down. Inhale, lift up and exhale the arms around. One more repetition. Rowing four, hands start on the mat next to your hips. 
bend down and reach toward your feet, lift the arms up and overhead and circle them around. Scoop, curl and reach to your feet, stack the spine up and circle the arms around. Do this one more time. Serve the brownies, sitting tall, turn the palms to face forward and scoop the arms up to eye level. Inhale and then exhale the arms down. Inhale, reach out, exhale, lower. Keep your arms the same distance apart at the top and the bottom. Only because you kissed a girl when you wanted to. Don't allow the weight of the arms to compress the spine. Keep the head high and the spine long and lifted. Hug a tree. I'm gonna sit cross-legged for this one and you can do the same or keep your legs straight. Arms up into hug the tree position. Open them apart and then hug them back in like you're wrapping your arms around a big oak tree. Keep the posture tall and lengthened as you move the arms. For salute, I'm choosing to straighten my legs again. Reach the arms up to where the wall meets the ceiling and then turn your palms, thumbs are touching. Extend and bend the arms, trying to get the hands behind your head. Set your hand weights down for swan. Lie prone. Classically, your legs will be together. However, if you have low back issues, keep them apart. Hands near your ears. Inhale as you press into your hands and rise up into a swan position. Exhale as you lower down, lengthening the spine. Inhale, take your abdominal muscles with you as you rise up and exhale, lower down. Make sure not to kink your neck backwards, creating creases in the back of the neck. Let, just let your head go along for the ride as you inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Push back into a child's pose to stretch. Gonna stay in this moment. Gonna lay here on the grass. I don't need to feel lonely. Grab your hand weights for backstroke. Lie supine, knees bent into your chest. Fists on top of your chest, palms facing the legs. Elbows wide apart. No, no. Inhale the arms and legs straight up to the sky. Open fingers if you can. Open the arms and legs into a V. Circle around into the hundreds position, lifting your head and chest, then fold back down. Straighten up, open, circle the extremities around, and then fold back down.
Lengthen your legs down on the mat for teaser. Heels together, toes apart. Arms are by your sides with palms up. Lift the head and chest and then rise up into a V-sit position. Balance for a moment and exhale, roll back down. Inhale, tip your chin, scoop, curl and reach up. Exhale and lower with control. For breaststroke, you can opt to use your hand weights. I'm not going to use mine for this exercise. Lie prone, legs squeezed together, arms bent, hands by your ears. Pick your heels towards your bottom three times. As your legs extend, reach out in front of you, rise up into swan, circle those arms back to your hips and lower down bending the elbows. Kick, two, three, inhale, reach out and around, exhale down. Kick, two, three, inhale, reach out, around and lower. Push back into a child's pose to flex the spine. Once again, grab your hand weights if you want to use them for chest expansion. In a kneeling position, inhale and press your arms back behind you. Hold the breath as you turn your head right, left, and center, and then exhale, return the arms to your sides. Do this one more time. Come closer, dance for me. Now raise your arms out in front of you at chest height. Inhale, press the arms down and back, turn the head right, left, and center. Exhale, return the arms up to shoulder height. Do one more repetition with the head leading to the left. For our final set, as you press the arms down and back, sit down on your heels. Turn the head right, left, and center, and then reach the arms forward as you lift up to a kneeling position. Thigh stretch, arms out in front of the chest. Inhale as you hinge back from your knees. Exhale as you lift to an upright position. Inhale, use those quad muscles as you hinge back and exhale, lift up. We're not doing the back bend portion of this exercise. Serape twist. With the arms out in front of you and hug the tree position, hand weights or no hand weights is your choice, twist to one side and then center and then rotate the spine to the other direction. As you rotate your spine, keep your hips facing forward. Running. Come up into an elephant position, hands and feet on the mat, hips in the air. Bend one knee as you drop the opposite heel and then rise up to tippy toes and switch as you tread through the feet.
Now drop both heels, shift your hips back towards the heels and stretch. Mermaid. Sit to face one side, no hand weights needed. Legs are stacked, knees bent. Arms reach apart. Then grab your ankles as you side bend towards your feet. Arms reach apart, grow tall, and then go over to the other side, landing on your elbow gently. Push off using your tricep muscles, and then again, side bend to the opposite direction. Continue. When you bend towards your feet to add a more dynamic stretch for the upper arm, bring your hand back towards your shoulder blade. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Change the legs to the other side. All the arms reach apart, then bend towards your feet as you pull with your left hand on your ankle. And then over to the other side, gently coming onto your elbow, lengthening out of the spine, and then pushing off the arm to come up. Continue to alternate sides. I've been staring at the ceiling. For a more dynamic stretch of the tricep muscle and shoulders, reach that hand behind you towards your shoulder blade. For our version of Eve's lunge today, you're basically coming into a pigeon pose if you've ever done yoga, but extend one leg behind you and the other knee is in front, trying to lift the spine tall to open up the front of the hip of that leg that's going straight back behind you. I've been trying for a deeper stretch, tuck your toes behind you and then lift the kneecap off the mat. Try to stay upright. Switch legs. But it's hard to see. Now kneel or sit on the mat to stretch your hands behind you and finish with a chest opening stretch. Take several big deep breaths, lift the chin, open up the heart. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.